Good morning. It is a brand new week. And what does that mean? It means the start of a brand new weekly vlog. So a week in the life of a nurse practitioner, just taking you guys along with me this week. We are going to talk about the types of patients that we are seeing, about some different treatment options, and yeah, just new nurse practitioner mumbo jumbo. So I just pulled into the parking area for my job, and yeah, so let's talk a little bit about my first nurse practitioner job. So my first nurse practitioner job, I actually found on a website um, called indeed.com. So if you find yourself uh, looking for a job, that's definitely some place that I would recommend. Um, and I wasn't exactly sure what specialty I wanted to go into. As a matter of fact, I thought I would probably end up in some type of family practice, utilizing my lab interpretation skills and honing those skills further. Um, prescribing medications for chronic disease management, hypertension, um, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, things of that nature. And to be honest, I'm a little bit leery of the fact that I'm not utilizing those skills right from the very beginning. So I'm thinking actually about starting to work um, a volunteer type basis for a small free clinic in my city that I live in just to be able to utilize some of those skills. And in case you're wondering, I cut my finger this morning on coffee creamer container. But anyways, so actually my first job is with a pain management clinic and I really love the idea of this clinic. And here's the reason why, because we don't only do pain management, so we're treating acute and chronic types of pain, but they also offer things like uh, procedures and injections, things to help control pain other than just pills, which is a good thing um, to give more long-term relief of that chronic pain to increase you know, activities of daily living and things like that. So that's awesome. And then in addition to that, the thing that I absolutely love the most and the thing that really solidified for me that I was okay with starting my very first nurse practitioner job in this location is that they actually have an addiction side. So where they are treating patients who are struggling with drug addiction. And that is something, just a topic that's near and dear to my heart, having friends and family members who have struggled with addiction, um, being able to see people who actually want to be in recovery, who want assistance, who want help to, um, you know, uh, treat their addictions. So that's, that's a really, really important thing to me. So that is my first nurse practitioner job. I'm at a pain management clinic. I'm excited to be here. Um, this is actually officially the start of week three for me in this position. Um, so I took my nurse practitioner boards on November the 13th and that was actually my 39th birthday. So it was a really, really exciting day to become 39 and to become a nurse practitioner all on the same day. Um, if you want to know any more details about the exam that I took, I'm actually thinking about posting a video about that entire experience. Um, I have a second YouTube channel, which is actually my primary channel where I do all things faith and family. Um, just share things I feel like the Lord has placed in my heart. So if you're interested in that, I'll place a link to that channel in the description box below where I posted a vlog of the day that I took the exam. I'm just sharing more about it, but I'm thinking about going more in depth about the test that I chose, why I chose that test, why I recommend everyone choose that test, how to study and prepare for that test. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, definitely comment that below and let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into work. I'm going to take you guys along this journey with me today. I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get, but this is going to be a weekly vlog. So today is Monday. Um, and yeah, I plan on making these vlogs each week, sharing different kinds of information with you guys. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, become an NP with me. I'm just an average Jane doing my thing. And listen, if I can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. I'm here for you. Comment below any questions or videos that you would like to see. All right. Happy Monday. Let's get started.
today is Tuesday, December the 14th. It's day two in the week of a nurse practitioner. It is 7.53 a.m. I have to be at work at 8 a.m. I'm not normally this late. I normally get to work 10 to 15 minutes early. I'm in a traffic light right around the corner from work, so no big deal. Um, I have a kiddo that's not feeling well, so if you are a nurse practitioner or on your way to become one and have children, you know what that's like. So they put me a little bit behind the eight ball this morning. I was able to go and start my day in prayer at my church, which is something that I absolutely love um, and that I enjoy doing. So yeah, I'm getting ready to pull into the parking lot and yeah, I've got some things to talk to you guys about. So hopefully we can do that on today, day two of the vlog. So, I do not like to drive in my coat. So, I will put my coat in the back and then put it on when I get to work. So, my back can't shut. And it did. Okay. So, what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I thought I might as well talk to you while we're walking inside, is yesterday seemed to be like a cleanup day. Um, last week, I felt like every room I walked into, it was easy breezy. It was just pain management, just refills on current medications that seemed to be working adequately and treating the patient's pain. And yesterday, I am not kidding you, every single room I walked into, the patients were saying that they felt like their pain was not being controlled with their medications. Um, literally in tears, crying that the pain was so bad, so debilitating that they felt themselves getting further and further depressed, unable to complete activities of daily living, just wanting to stay in bed, experiencing that good old anhedonia word. Um, and then another room that I walked into, it was awaiting a prior authorization to verify that their um, catheter was in place for their pain pump and not feeling as though they were getting the relief that they needed because again, they weren't certain if the catheter was in the correct location. And I share that with you because you're gonna have days like that. As a nurse practitioner, it's going to feel like you're just putting out fires one right after the other, and that's okay because that's what you're there for. So I think it's important to recognize that there's going to be you know, situations like that that you're going to encounter. And I think it's such an amazing experience really, and it's a privilege, it's an honor to be able to meet patients' needs, to be able to be there for them, to encourage them, and um, just really kind of speak life into their day. So yeah, that was yesterday. So we will see what Tuesday holds for us today. Gotta get inside. Wednesday. I know you can hardly see me because it is 6.58 in the morning. I am just now arriving at my church. I come here to do early morning prayer. I believe I mentioned that here in the vlog. I only get 10 to 15 minutes of prayer in in the mornings here at the actual physical church location, but I love it. It has been an amazing asset to my morning routine and yeah. I will take you guys in so you can see how pretty it is in the sanctuary before seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I'm just sitting here doing a little data entry. I have lab, urine, lab results to enter into the computer. For each patient, we do a urine drug screen here, whether you are on the uh, recovery side or the pain side, um, different time frames that you have to input the urine drug screen results in. So maybe three months on one side, one month on another side, etc. And then of course, 
as needed. So I am just going to plug in some of these. Sometimes they don't come back until the end of the day. And then even though we're done with patients, we can't leave because we have to get all of these lab results put in. So just got to make sure that you're inputting for the right patient because a lot of times you will see duplicate names. Um, sometimes it's kind of shocking, even not common names, just even random names sometimes you'll find. It is now Thursday morning of our weekly vlog. Yesterday we did the Christmas party for work and yeah, I'm heading into early morning prayer and then I'll be on my way to find some coffee and on my way to work. Reinforcing effects of ongoing opioid use and we will talk about this more. Um, Additionally, they promote and facilitate patient engagement in recovery-oriented activities. Current situation, it is 5.01 p.m. on Thursday. TGIF is tomorrow. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm actually out on time today, which typically does not happen. So that's exciting. I guess I can take that off. Um, so I'm gonna head to the chiropractor. I really, I haven't been sleeping super well, um, and so I've got this kink in my neck. It's really quite bothersome. So I'm going to try to go get that taken care of and go home. I have one kiddo who has um, sick from school today at home with an ear infection, and then my three-year-old is at the babysitter, but she has an ear infection also. Go figure. Um, so yeah, that is today. We will wrap up the vlog tomorrow. Let's see how the day goes today. Um, I will say that when you're working in pain and addiction um, and recovery, you sometimes will have the wool pulled over your eyes and no one I don't think in the world could be any more caring and compassionate than me. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, I really am. And yesterday I had a patient that his Suboxone was causing him migraine headaches and he had been clean for a very long time and he wasn't trying to um, you know just get something to quote unquote get high off of he actually is having these migraines and he was wondering if he could switch to a different medication and of course me being the person I am I felt really bad for him and um, yeah, so apparently, because Suboxone has Naloxone and Buprenorphine combined, if you take that, um, the Naloxone, which is, awkward angle, which is what binds to the opiate receptor and prevents opiate pain medications from causing that euphoric high feeling, um, obviously, they're bound, so you can't abuse medications um, or street drugs that contain opioids. And yeah, so sure enough, I spoke with one of the doctors today. I kind of had a feeling maybe that was it, but he had said that he was doing so good and that he had been clean for so long. And gave me this huge story about how he's starting school to um, to do addiction management uh, counseling himself, and you know just because his recovery's been so great, and he wants to show people that there's life after heroin addiction, and on and on and on. Long story short, I started digging through his chart today because I was really going to try to plead his case, just to find out that. He has had amphetamines and methamphetamines in his system multiple times in the last just several months. So I guess note to self and just as a recommendation for other new providers to not be hard and calloused and not believe your patients. 
but to just make sure that you're doing your own due diligence and, um, you know, interpreting your urinary drug screenings and the confirmatory reports. And, um, you know, because it's a big picture, it's a big circle and it all has to go together. So yeah, note to self. All right, tomorrow's TGIF. We're going to wrap up the vlog. I'm going to get this thing posted. And I hope you guys are getting some enjoyment out of watching this week in the life. Comment below and let me know if you want to see more videos just like this. And yeah, let's go to the chiropractor. TGIF. <laughs> Yay. I am at work. It is Friday morning. The birds are chirping. I am excited to be here. I'm excited for another day to be able to try to make a difference in the lives of those I serve. And yeah, today I thought as I wrap up today's vlog, I just want to share with you some thoughts, some things, I guess, rather, that I'm working on. So right now, I am currently working on training to obtain my, it's called an XDEA or a waiver, uh, data or data 2000 waiver in order to be able to write prescriptions for buprenorphine and all of its many variations um, that it goes by, names rather. And let me bend over here and pick up my bag off the floor. And so there is a training that I have to obtain in order to be able to do that. It's 24 hours worth of modules that I have to watch. So hopefully I'll be able to get that finished up. I would love to be able to finish it up this weekend. Um, I believe it's a rather low key weekend for me, prayerfully. I know we're coming up on Christmas week. So of course there'll be some festive holiday things occurring pretty soon. But until then, I think Hopefully, there's not much going on this weekend. I really need to get caught up on my laundry <laughs> in a really bad way. So that doesn't sound exciting, but I'm happy to be off the weekend. Um, my job will entail a four hour shift once, um, I think it's supposed to be about once a month, but I haven't heard when that's gonna start yet. And I am now officially wrapping up week three. So yeah, um, I may go ahead and end the vlog here. And if you'd like to see these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your love and support. Share these videos out. Comment below any video ideas that you have. And I hope you have enjoyed the life of a new nurse practitioner. And I will see you guys next week for a whole new week. Ta-ta! <laughs>